James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you an easy way to play Down on the Corner by CCR. There's going to be that intro riff, and some chords and strumming. The chords and strumming are quite simple with this tune, so you know it's just a few chord shapes, pretty easy strumming pattern. If along the way you find that you need any extra help, I have a couple of free ebooks. One of them for rhythm guitar, the other one for lead guitar, and those will both be applicable in this situation since we're going to learn some rhythm and some lead. And they're laid out in a really simple, easy to follow way, you know, really basic stuff, completely free for all my subscribers. Get your copies, there's links down below for that. I also have a complete beginner's course if you want help going from absolute beginner to confident strummer. Anyways, let's get started with the chords and strumming part of it. The chord shapes are C, G, and I like to play G this way because coming from a C chord, we just have to move our ring finger over to the thickest string and our pinky to the thinnest string, both of the third fret and we get a nice simple G chord. And we also have F. And we're gonna play it like this. We're gonna be coming from a C chord. So let's approach it that way. We start with our C chord. We're gonna take our middle finger and we're gonna move it over to the G string. Still at the second fret. And then we're gonna put our pinky just underneath our ring finger on the third fret of the D string. So that's the easy F shape. I like to take my thumb over the top of the neck just to mute the thickest string. And the thinnest string is being muted by the underside of my first finger. Mute, three, three, two, one, mute. I have a separate video that just goes over this chord. I'll put it in the corner there. So if you want extra help with the easy F chord, you can check that out. You're also welcome to play the bar chord version if you're into that. Anyways, it's just those three chord shapes, C, G and F. I would work on the transitions from C to G just to make it nice and smooth. You play G whichever way you want, but I like that other way. And then C to F, which is just a couple small movements. Really easy this way. Now before we move any further, let's practice the chords in order using downstrokes only, just so we can get used to the switching and making sure that we play them the right number of times. Starting out on C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We do that again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. One, two. So you can rewind that and try it as many times as you need to until you're nice and solid with the chord shapes. It's basically two simple progressions, the C to G thing and then F to C. You know, when you go through it, you'll start to see those patterns emerge. Anyways, now that we have the basic chords for the verse, we can add a strumming pattern to that. And that's the most common strumming pattern ever. I have a separate video that goes over it if you need any help breaking it down. But really quick, it goes down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. You know, so if we break it into halves, we start off down, down, up, three, four, down, down, up. And then the second half, one, two, miss up, down, up, one, two, miss up, down, up. Yeah, so we're missing on beat three. And as far as practicing it, I want you to do it just like I did it, where we played the first half and then we counted three, four, you know, the missing part of it, and then flipping that around, counting one, two, miss, and then playing up, down, up, just like we're doing in this lesson. And if you need extra help with that, I've made three tutorials covering this strumming pattern. I'll put the latest one in the corner right there. But assuming that you're comfortable with the most common strumming pattern ever, when it comes to adding it to our progression, when we start off, we just play it one time over the C chord. And then we get to the G chord, 
and we have to play the first half on the G chord. And then we switch to the C chord on that miss. So as we miss, we switch to the C chord, and then we go up, down. So we're splitting our pattern over the G and C chord. And I want you to practice that ahead of time, just going down, down, up, switch, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, switch, up, down, up. Aside from that, we play the strumming pattern one time per chord shape. So let's try it together now with our progression, starting on C. One, two, three, four. So that's the verse. Now let's take a look at the chorus. It uses the same chord shapes. We're going to start on an F chord and we're going to play down strokes only just so we can get the chord order first and then we'll add the strumming pattern after. So we have our F chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, So go through that as many times as you need to until you're nice and solid with the chord shapes. Now when we add the strumming pattern to that, we're basically sharing it between pairs of chords. So we start off on F, and we go down, down, up, and then we switch to C during the miss, up, down, up, and then we do the same thing G to C. Down, down, up, switch, up, down, up. So we already practiced that for the verse, now we're just going to do it for every single switch during the chorus. Let's try this together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. it for the chords and the strummings, just the verse and the chorus. Now before we move on and learn the melody, let's try playing that a little bit quicker. I'm going to pull out my metronome. We're going to play through the verse and the chorus together just so you can get used to, you know, doing the whole thing. I have my metronome set to 76, which is a nice medium slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Early in the evening, just about supper time. Next, we're going to take a look at the melody and we're going to break it down into phrases. We start off with... So I'm on the third fret of the A string and I want to play that with my ring finger, just like when I play a C chord. Same fingering. We pluck that note and then we play the open string and then we go to the third fret on the thickest string. So just try that. Three, O, and then three on the thickest string. And then we're going to roll our finger up. So you can see there I have my finger on the thickest string and then I just kind of flatten it to roll up to the A string. And I play it two times. And the first time, I'm releasing the pressure to make the note shorter. You know, short, long. Now moving on from there, the second half of that phrase. I'm starting off on the A string, and then I play the third fret of the thickest string two times with the short long rhythm, and then on the A string, two, three, three, and
and that one also has the short, long rhythm. So, and then when we put that entire phrase together, nice and slow, one and two and three and four. I'll put the counting there and I'm going to count it out loud as I play it, or at least I'll try to. Let's see how this goes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you might need to break it down and count it out. And I'm going to put that at the top of the screen there so you can see that all at once. You can pause the video and you can try that as many times as you like, you know, to get to really nail the rhythm. Remember, whenever we double a note, you know, play the same note two times in a row, we have that short, long rhythm. And once you get that phrase, you pretty much have the melody down. We do it two times and then we take it and we move it over to the next string. So we're starting on the D string. Otherwise, we do the same thing until the very end. So we're on the D string, three, O, oh, and then we play the third fret of the A string. You know, it's, it's all the same thing. If you cut this string off your guitar, it would look exactly the same. You know, we, we do that. And the only difference is the very last note. Instead of coming up to the third fret, we go to the open G string. So the other phrase in its entirety, nice and slow, goes like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... And then we play the first phrase again. So this melody is pretty much the same thing over and over again. Let's play through the entire melody now, nice and slow. I'm gonna grab a metronome. One, two, three, four. So when it comes to putting this song together, it starts off with that melody. Then we have the verse, the chorus. We have the melody once again, or you can strum the chords to the verse if you don't wanna play the melody. Then we have another chorus, and then we play half a verse. So, you know, the other verses, we just play half the length of that. Another verse, and then we end with the chorus. So this one's pretty straightforward. It's kind of like verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Throw the melody in there a couple times. If you want to see me playing through this entire song start to finish, that's available exclusively for members of my Patreon page. And if you're not aware, Patreon is a platform where people can help support this channel with a small monthly donation. And in exchange, you get access to, in my case, a bunch of full playthroughs for a ton of the popular songs on my channel. Um, I have a few exclusive booklets that, you know, just have different stuff in them. There's the kids song book, there's my practice guide, you know, there's a few different booklets that you get access to. And um, you get my thanks as well. You know, I am grateful for all my patrons and I'm grateful for all the people who simply are learning guitar with me on YouTube. If you have a question, please ask in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to grab your copy of my free eBooks, one for rhythm guitar and one for lead guitar. They're completely free for all my subscribers. I also have my complete beginner's course. If you'd like a guided tour through the entire process, you know, from absolute beginner to confident strummer. So please check those out. Otherwise have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.